I love those days where I feel like I have more mental clarity, where I feel more present and able to engage with the people and things around me in a more positive way. No brain fog, no clutter up here, just clear and present. What if we could feel like that all the time? Our relationships would probably thrive. We'd certainly create more cool stuff if we had less mental clutter. There's a word in Sanskrit that describes personal practices that help you to clarify, simplify, and declutter the junk in your mind. And that word is shaucha. And shaucha describes practices that help you to get clear about what's really important in your life and to put the other stuff in perspective. Shaucha also helps to give you courage and confidence to clean house and to let go of some of the old stuff that no longer supports your health and happiness. Today's practice will help develop this idea of shaucha to bring more clarity and peace into your life. Just a quick reminder to click the subscribe button if you enjoy these practices and check out my Patreon site, which really helps to support me in the making of these videos. And you get access to monthly live streams where we get to hang out and get to know one another a little bit more. So if you're a patron already, thank you. And if not, I invite you to join this fun little community. For class today, have your journal ready for a little writing after class. And today is a fun flow practice, so no special props needed, but bring anything that helps assist you or makes your practice more comfortable. Blocks, blankets, cushions, pillows, anything that you want. Make your way to a comfortable seat on your mat and bring your eyes to a close. And as you inhale through the nose, lift the shoulders up to the ears. And a big open mouth exhale. Let the shoulders melt all the way down. Let's do that one more time. A great big breath. Lift the shoulders. Open mouth, exhale, and relax. Come back to a deep, relaxing breath in and out through the nose. We'll spend a few moments here clearing space and welcoming ourselves to practice. Bring a soft awareness to the crown of your head and feel an ease, a melting from the crown of your head across your scalp, softening, relaxing. Feel that melting sensation move into the brow and the forehead, the ears, relax. Relax into your eyes and your cheeks. Relax into your jaw and your chin. With every exhale, feel any tension and tightness melting from the upper body, dissolving into the breath. Let's begin our class with an affirmation. This helps to set the intention for our class and it allows a powerful energy to move into our practice, move into our life the energy of transformation. I'll say the words out loud and then you repeat them silently to yourself. Here we go. I am willing to let go of old stories and beliefs that limit me.
I welcome more clarity to see what serves my highest good. And I welcome more confidence to let go of the things that do not. Let's sit for a few more moments, welcoming this energy to move through us into our practice and into our life. Slowly blink your eyes open. Sweep your legs around in front of you. Extend the right leg long and bring the sole of the left foot inside that right thigh for Janyu Shashasana. Take a moment here before we fold forward and root down through the sit bones, press down through the outside of the left thigh so you feel that left hip opening a little bit. And now as you inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward slowly, extending long through the spine as you continue to fold. So keep reaching the heart forward, the crown of the head forward, and take a little bit more of a fold. As you inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, deepen, and keep doing that little dance all the way down to your fullest expression. Take a little bit of an internal rotation of the right leg so the knees and the toes turn inward and you feel the right sit bone spread open on the mat. Exhale, relax. As you inhale, rise up into stargazer pose, left hand to the mat. Lift your hips and sweep the right hand up and over and from the right toes to the right fingertips, Reach, wiggle your fingers. Let's take some big swooping circles with that right hand all the way around. Opposite direction. And come down. Let's do the other side. Extend the left leg long. Sole of the right foot comes in. Again, take a moment. Root down through the sit bones. Gently press down through the outside of the right thigh. Hands up as you inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Again, taking it slow, lengthening on each inhale, and deepening on each exhale. I like to take a little pause in between breaths, check in with the body. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Again, a bit of an internal rotation of the left leg here. Feel that left sit bone spread open a bit. And melt. Inhale, slowly rise. Right hand to the mat behind you. Lift your hips and arc the left hand up and over. Again, a great big reach from left toes to the left fingertips. And then sweep that left hand in big circles as you breathe. Feel the stretch across the ribs through the fingertips. Opposite direction. And bring it down. Sweep your legs around behind you into tabletop. And let's just take a few cat cows here. Wrap the elbow in, heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale, round and flex. Inhale, heart forward, shoulders back. And exhale, round and flex. Draw the navel in, push into the earth. Move like this with your breath. We're opening the upper back and training the core muscles to strengthen. Also, we're linking breath with movement here. All really important elements of our practice. And coming back to stillness, curl your toes under and lift your hips, downward dog. Let's spend a few moments here pedaling the feet, bend one knee, draw the opposite heel down. I just love this. I mean, I do it every, to begin every practice and just the feeling of that stretch from the glutes and the hips all the way down the back of each leg to the heel is really sweet 
and really helpful if we've been sitting or feel tight. And most of us do have some tightness in the hamstrings and the calves. Coming to stillness, great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Bring your feet together, inhale. Take your right heel up to the sky, three-leg dog. Push through the heel. Exhale, knee to nose, shifting forward. Step the right foot through between your hands, low lunge. Lift your heart off the front thigh, wing the arms back. Send the energy of the heart forward. Inhale, take the hands up to the sky, crescent lunge. Nice deep bend in the front thigh. Bring the palms together at your heart, more weight to the front foot, and let's glide forward softly into warrior three. Lift the left heel, dip the left hip, and lengthen the heart and the crown of the head forward so the spine is nice and long, the hips and chest are facing the earth. From here into dancer pose. So reach back, bend the left knee, grab the outside of the left ankle, and reach your right hand forward. Slowly begin to kick the left foot into the left hand as you reach the right hand forward. Lift your heart. So find your playful edge here. If you fall, it's okay. Play around with it. As you exhale, release the left foot and we glide back into crescent lunge. Nice work. Spin the back heel down, open warrior two. So roll to the outside edge of the back foot, toe heel front foot a little bit to the right here, and then extend through the inner thigh out through the knee so the knee is pointing straight ahead. Relax the shoulders, breathe. Inhale, straight front leg, turn all 10 toes off the left side of the mat, star pose, reach up. And as you exhale, open to warrior two, facing the back of the mat. So again, toe heel front foot a little bit to the left here. Relax the shoulders, breathe. Nice deep bend in the front thigh. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Right hand alongside the back thigh, lift up through the heart. And as you exhale, windmill the hands down, frame the front foot, spin to the ball of the back foot, low lunge, and step back, plank pose. Slow as you can, lower all the way to your belly. Untuck your toes for cobra pose. Slide the hands back, push into the heels of the palms, lift the heart, and then push the heart forward. Draw the shoulders back. We're opening the upper back. Exhale, lower. Hips to heels, child's pose. And come forward into tabletop. Curl your toes, lift your hips. Downward dog, feet together. And take your right heel up to the sky once again. Three leg dog. Exhale, knee to nose, squeeze it in, shift forward, and step through between your hands, low lunge. Spin the back heel down, toe heel front foot a little to the right, and windmill your hands open into warrior two. Again, pay attention to the position of the front knee pointing straight ahead here. Shoulders are nice and soft. Inhale, straight front leg, turn all 10 toes off the left side of the mat, star pose, wiggle the fingers, and exhale, open to warrior two, facing the front of the mat, beautiful job. Flip the front palm, take it up and back, reverse warrior. Exhale, windmill the hands down, low lunge, and step back to plank pose. Holding plank, wrap the elbows in, bring more weight to the right hand, and roll to the right side, side plank, Vashistasana. So you can keep both feet on the ground here, rolling to the side edges of the feet, or you can stack the left foot on top. Push into the earth, lift from the bottom hip all the way through the left fingertips. Inhale, we roll back to plank pose, all the way to the other side, side plank, with the left hand down. Again, both feet can be on the mat, or stack the right ankle on top. Lift through the bottom hip, breathe. Exhale, coming back to plank pose, slow as you can. Lower all the way to your belly. Untuck the toes for another cobra pose. Lift the heart, push the heart forward, breathe. Exhale, take it down. Hips to heels, child's pose. And then sit back to your heels and take a look up here. So we're going to do 
uh, a heart opener back bend here called camel pose. Now, if you've worked with camel pose before and it didn't feel good in your body, I'm gonna show you some different variations here. It may still not feel good in your body, in which case you don't have to do it, right? You can take child's pose here. But the idea behind these gentle back bends, like cobra and like camel pose, which we're gonna do, is that most of us have questionable posture, <laughs> right? Most of us kind of hunch over like this. Most of us sit a lot hunched over like this. And over time, what that can do is that posture pinches the inside of the disc material in our vertebrae, and it causes the material to bulge out the back. So most of us have some degree of some disc bulging going on back here. What these heart openers, what these back bends help to do is create more space in the upper back and they encourage that disc material to move back into the center of the vertebrae where it belongs. So really therapeutic and really good. However, you have to pay attention to your threshold. If it feels pinchy in the low back, if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Stick to the cobras and, um, and then over time, you'll progress into the bigger back bends, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate camel pose for you and then we'll do it together. So just watch this first go around. Curl the toes under. That closes the distance a little bit between hands to heels. Three things you wanna pay attention to uh, all throughout this exercise. Thing number one, push the hips forward. You wanna get as close to vertical through the hips and thighs as you can. Thing number two, draw the navel in, engage the core. And thing number three, lengthen the tailbone down toward the heels so it's a slight tilt of the pelvis that gives your low back more space. You wanna, you wanna lift through the upper back and create the space in the upper back. With all of those things going on, tuck the chin, reach gently back and find that left heel. Keeping the chin tucked, reach back and find the right heel. Now, from here, push the hips forward. Gently draw the navel in, lengthen the tailbone down. And as you let your head fall back, push through the heart into the sky and gently squeeze the shoulder blades. Let your head fall all the way back. Don't squeeze the butt cheeks here. Don't squeeze your glutes, that pinches the tailbone. You want to squeeze, if you want to squeeze anything, it's the shoulder blades pushing up through the heart. To come out, gently tuck the chin, release the right hand and then the left and come back to your heels, okay? All right, that's the workshop. Here we go, let's do it. Curl the toes under. Nice and tall, push the hips forward, draw the navel in, lengthen the tailbone down. Keep the belly slightly engaged. Tuck the chin, reach back, and find the top of that left heel. Keeping the chin tucked, reach back, find the top of the right heel. Now, push the hips forward gently, lengthen the tailbone down, and let your head fall back slowly. As you let the head fall back, push up through the heart and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Let the head fall all the way back, keep pushing through the heart. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades and breathe. Don't stop breathing. <laughs> For three, two, one. Now very slowly, tuck the chin, release the right hand, and then push through the left. Come up, sit back to your heels, okay? Let's take child's pose for a breath or two. Relax and breathe. And coming forward into tabletop, curl your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. Good work. Feet together, take the left heel up to the sky, push through the heel, extend and lengthen. Knee to nose, and step through between your hands. Lift your heart off the front thigh, wing the arms back, and send your heart forward. Inhale, take the hands to the sky. Nice deep crescent lunge. Feel it in the front thigh. Back leg is strong and straight here. Bring the palms together at your heart. A little more weight to the front foot. And we glide gracefully into warrior three. Lift the right heel. 
and dip the right hip so that the hips are level, chest facing the earth. Lift the crown of the head forward, so lengthen from the crown of the head all the way through the heel. Now from here into dancer pose. Bend the right knee, reach back, find the right ankle, outside of the right ankle, and then kicking the right foot into the hand, reach the left hand forward, breathe. Allow yourself to play here, allow yourself to fall. And as you exhale, release that right foot and step it back into crescent lunge. Awesome work. Spin the back heel down, open to warrior two. Toe heel front foot maybe a little bit to the left. Relax the shoulders and breathe. You wanna feel the outside edge of the right foot sealed to the mat. The inner arch of the right foot lifted just a little bit. Inhale, straight front leg, turn all 10 toes off the right side of the mat, star pose, wiggle the fingers. Exhale, open to warrior two, facing the back of the mat. Check the front knee, facing straight forward. Check the shoulders, relax. Check your jaw, relax. Flip the front palm, take it up and back, lift through the heart. Exhale, windmill the hands down, frame the front foot, and step back to plank pose. Slowly, slowly, we lower down, keeping the elbows close to the sides, and you can come to your knees any point on that descent. Untuck the toes for cobra pose. Push your heart forward, open the upper back, same thing that we're trying to do in camel pose. Lower it down, and sink your hips to your heels, child's pose. Come forward, tabletop, curl the toes and lift your hips, downward dog. Feet together. Take your left heel to the sky, push through the heel. Knee to nose, shift forward and step through between your hands. Spin the back heel down, windmill open into warrior two. Readjust the front foot as necessary. Breathe and soften through the upper body. Inhale, straight front leg, turn all 10 toes off the right side of the mat, star pose, reach. Open to warrior two facing the front. Flip the front palm up and back we go. Exhale, windmill the hands down, frame the front foot. Step back, plank pose. Let's firm up the belly, wrap the elbows in. More weight to the left hand this time and we roll to the left side, side plank. Right hand to the sky, again, you can leave both feet on the ground or stack the right ankle on top. Push through the left hand, lift from the bottom hip all the way through the top fingers. Exhale, we come back to plank pose, rolling right on through to the other side, side plank on the right side. Lift up through the left fingertips, feel all the way into the earth with the right hand, that energy pushing up through the left fingertips. Exhale, we come back to plank pose and as slow as you can, lower all the way to your belly. Untuck your toes for another cobra. Really feel it in the upper back here, so push the heart forward, shoulders back. Lower down and hips to heels. Child's pose. Let's sit back on your heels for another round of camel pose. So again, don't have to do this. If camel feels weird, just stay in child's pose. Same thing, curl the toes under, and now push the hips forward. Slightly engage the belly, navel in slightly, and lengthen the tailbone down. Keep the chin tucked. Reach back with the left hand, find that heel. Keeping the chin tucked, reach back with the right hand, find the heel. Now, push the hips forward. Slowly let the head fall back as you push your heart to the sky and squeeze the shoulder blades. That pushing of the heart up, squeezing of the shoulder blades is really key here. That will take the pinch out of the low back. That will create the space in the upper back. Let the head fall all the way back and breathe. If you feel nauseous, you can come out, staying for three, two, one, gently tuck the chin, release the right hand and push up with the left. 
Sit back to your heels. Awesome work. All right, let's take child's pose here. Relax and soften. Sit back to your heels and sweep your legs around in front. We'll take a big wide leg seat. Root down through the sit bones. Knees and toes stay pointing to the sky. And then lift up nice and tall through the spine here, almost as if the heart and the crown are lifting up and you're pushing your tailbone back behind you. And then just crawl the fingers forward. Keep doing that, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold until you find some sensation. <laughs> and then close your eyes and breathe into it. Slowly. Keep doing that little dance, lengthening on the inhale, deepening on the exhale until you find your fullest expression. Inhale, slowly rise. Come to your back and hug your knees into your chest. Little side to side rock here. Soothing, relaxing, rocking motion. And then come to stillness. Take your feet up in the air for happy baby. Grab the outside edges of the feet. Allow your feet to spread open as far as they want to. And just let the weight of the arms pull down on the feet. Feel the low back draw down toward the mat. Close your eyes. If you wanna rock a little bit side to side here, that's great. If you wanna stay still, that's great. Listen to your body. Our practice is one of shaucha. It helps us to declutter, to clarify, to see things in perspective. What is really important in our life? And what is just a distraction. And our practice gives us courage and confidence to let those things go that no longer serve our highest good, that feed into old stories and beliefs that don't serve us. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale release into Shavasana. into your fingers and your toes. 
your wrists and ankles. Inhale, take a big breath and reach your hands overhead. Wiggle your fingers and toes, stretch. Feel every cell in your body waking up to new possibilities today. Exhale, knees to chest. And roll to your right side. Push yourself up to a seat, top of your mat. Bring your palms together at your heart and close your eyes. Let's lift our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow. We bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Hugs. <laughs> Great practice today. Grab your journals. Uh, check in with yourself. Notice what's coming up for you. See if you can get any of that on paper. And then consider this idea of shaucha. Shaucha includes any personal practices in your life that help you to declutter to simplify, to clarify. So it could be cleaning the house, it could be cleaning your desk, it could be personal hygienic practices, taking a bath, feeling, feeling clean, um, your yoga practice, whatever it is, consider what those things are in your life and just take a moment with each one and notice how taking an action to declutter on the outside has an effect on the clutter <laughs> on the inside, right? On the inside. Just notice that and see which of those activities uh, perhaps you need to come back to. Maybe it's time for some, some cleaning of some sort, some decluttering, uh, and it's so good, <laughs> so good. Uh, love you, and I will see you tomorrow for Gosh, what day is it? 26? It can't be. It is 26 tomorrow. I'll see you there.